Kenny Boucher here, the long one. Something that's never happened before. Rob Bear has stepped out from behind the camera to show us how to play the game. Yep, I'm just trying to lay the smack down on Kenny. So today we have for you guys a really quick 1500 point battle using Mission 9 of the People's Mission Packet. You can download it from Forza Narrative. It's, it's our one win-loss scenario. One of three. It is the only one, though, that is modeled after the ATC. It turns out I can't count past six, so... That was under six, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is how it works. But yeah, it's a pretty good mission. It's uh, similar to the old um, ATC format we used to love and, and cherish. I'm saying old because the new stuff I'd be having this year is ATC. We don't know yet, but... Word on the street is... Word on the street is, Borgenaire might be having something to do with some new cool missions for ATC. I'd be okay. But anyway, you can check out ForestAndArab.com, download the mission packet, check out Quality Control, and follow along with us on. And you guys can download the missions, or rather, the rosters that we're soon, playing today. Very soon to be PDF downloadable. Yep, from the Long War site. Hey everybody, today I am going to be playing the Flesh Terror Strike Force. Now this is a great way to be able to take a whole army of Blood Angels or Flesh Terrors, but also on its own, it's a great way to be able to ally in or take a small detachment of the same thing, where you could get a Sanguinary Priest, uh, a, a Fast Attack Drop Pod, or even some cheap Scouts. Remember, they always have that Furious Charge rule as well. So keep that in mind. You can play it as an army, or you can play it you know, with some other stuff out there as well too. Okay, so here's what's in the list. First off, we've got Dante, the man, the myth, the legend. He's a lord of war. Then a sanguinary priest right here to give some dope feel no pain, because that's uh, that's the OG tech, but it's still good in this format as well. Then we've got 10 uh, Blood Angel Terminators with Storm Shields, because that's always fun. Uh, a little five-man scout squad just to, you know, take objectives and do things like that. Then we've got four 10-man assault squads, two with double meltas and two with double flammers. So there's all sorts of tech you can do here. You can deep strike in, you can start on the board, all sorts of different stuff. This comes out to roughly 1,500 points. So here it is, guys. OG, it's been a long time since I played this. I got the three land moves. This is something that was really cool in 6th edition and I think even late 5th edition when I played this. Uh, it's been a long time, and Dark Angels is a guilty pleasure for a lot. And was the last time you saw the Angels of Death going off on this one? So, quick rundown. Three Land Raider Crusaders. Loaded down. Those are blades, because they're one of the only ones that can still do that. Of course, I got the sweet crown with those are blades. I love these things. They have multi meltas and Storm Bolters. I did not have points, I had 1,500 points, however, to put a death and vehicle upgrade on them. That was out, that's outrageous. I only have 16 infantry models in the whole army, five tacticals, five tacticals. I do have a librarian on bike with a powerful generator. He still works. He's also upgraded to mastery level two. I have the command squad with the banner of devastation, four melted guns, and an apothecary. I'm suckered into these guys, like whenever I take them, I never take them just bare bones. I have to take them with all the cool guns. Finally, you guys see it, the <laughs> Nephilim Jeff Fighter. I mean, nothing but hate for this guy online. Uh, he's one of my, he's, I think he's one of the coolest looking flyers there is. Uh, he actually is getting more balanced as the additions go forward, but he's still a little over costing, but I have never gotten to put him on a table and I refuse to not play with him at least once. So now that you know what I'm playing, what's your plan, what the mission is, what is your game? I think, I need to basically uh, protect my little quasi Death Star unit with Dante and his Terminators, but I'm more than willing to sacrifice some little MSU Melta squads because I got four big squads that I can break down into eight, and I guarantee you a couple of them are going to have double Meltas in them. Man, that's good. That's like a sick amount of MSU and still a Death Star at 1,500 points, man. That is a hard army list. It really is, and I think, I think we're going to see it come through if I can get you out of position and, you know, maybe get some lucky rolls. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the Land Raiders haven't been so good to me in this edition as they have been in 5th. 
Uh, but I'm gonna try to make it happen. Dark Angels, they, they're near and dear to me. So are Blood Angels, but these are silly flesh tears, so I'm gonna do my best to eradicate them. Well, let's see how it goes. All right, guys. So we placed the objectives. We rolled off, placed them. Did a real balanced thing. You know, one in the center while uh, diagonal uh, offsets. We're about to roll to see who picks their sides. That's right. Let's see who is on the other side. Word. Here I go. And I get. Ugh. Looks like I'm picking my side. I'm gonna take the far side because. My stuff's already over there, and your stuff's already over there, but I'm gonna make you walk. That's my stuff. All right, so here's the roll to set up first, and quite possibly go first. Let's see what I get. I mm, think I can beat that. Oh. <laughs> so deployment has been set. My opponent, has chosen to put two assault squads down on the table. I think he's trying to bait me. I know Rob Bear style. He has broken up 20 more assault marines into combat squads and put them in reserves. Uh, so he can come in and melt a gun the crap out of me. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh yeah, and additionally, that big Terminator squad with Dante and a priest are in reserves. And he got that warlord trick that gives him rage. So that's, that's kind of upsetting. But we're set up. Maybe I'll seize the initiative. I'm here to try to seize the initiative. Uh, you know what? You just go ahead and go first. <laughs> but I want to roll so bad, I always want to go first. Well, everybody knows you're just going to roll a six anyways. Fair point. I have rolled the six. <laughs> well played, sir. So, I've moved up these land raiders. I had to move the full 12. He's baiting me. <laughs> so I'm going to have to snap fire, you know, everything but one because I'm going to be able to use this to uh, have the machines. So I'm gonna go after these assault rings that he that he laid out. He staggered them in such a way that they're not all on a sight. So no matter how amazing I roll here, I cannot kill this one. But I have to start trying. So here's the first land reader. Just to show you guys what the Devastation Banner Order is doing, making all of my uh, weapons salvo for me. So here's the ones that hit on Melissa's skill from the first land reader. And they're all twin linked. So that's 12 hits. Do us all. Now we'll roll the snap fire once and roll the ones at the same time. So now these all hit up six. Here are our one lights. Okay, so just one hit from the snap fire. So you're up to 13. One extra dice. These were not fours. So that is five wounds. And here's my saves. Ugh, you're such a beast. <laughs> <laughs> Next is the assault cannon, guys. It has to snap fire too. It's one length, of course. One hit converts to one wound. And here's my save. Finally killed one. Oh no. Well, you still got two more land raiders. Real well, real quick. Uh, Melta Melta snap fire. Nope. Storm Bolter snap fire. No. Haha. -ha. Okay, so Kenny ended up killing five total uh, with all the shots from the land raiders. So now I gotta pass a leadership check. Oh, and I kind of positioned the models a little bit, so they were kind of out of line of sight. So I kind of looked out there, took a lot of firepower, and still have five dudes out of 10. So here's my leadership. Not too shabby. So after that volley, pretty happy killing a bunch of space marines on turn one. I know, I know it was a, he's baiting me, but I gotta, I gotta go for it, because I gotta start shutting down some of these units. Kill points are a thing. Moved my land readers to a centralized position and hid my powerful generator behind them, and that will conclude my first turn. Okay, so it's my turn one. I don't have a whole lot of options. Fortunately, I did kind of pull Kenny off the line there. I have to wait on my reserves to come in to try to do some damage to uh, the librarian back there. You can kind of see him behind the land raiders. So I need to take him out and maybe get some Meltas on them as well. Unfortunately, I think Kenny knows this. But we can't sit in our deployment zones. I think these guys are just going to kind of reposition out of line of sight just to survive the next turn. All right, to be honest, <laughs> my turn one was a little uneventful. But it's a game I like to call cat and mouse, and I have no problem playing it whatsoever. So I hid these guys 
As best I could down here, they're not all out of line of sight, but that means he's not gonna kill the whole squad either. And he's gonna have to work for whatever he goes after. So, better for me to drop in on, in my opinion. And those guys over there are kinda hidden in the corner. So, we're gonna see where turn two takes us. Just moving it on real quick, guys. Built the starburst formation in the center in anticipation for his deep strike. The librarian put invisibility on himself. Nephilim Jet Fighter came on for the first time ever in a game of 40k for me. And we're going to try to pick on this 10 man tactical squad in this ruin. But we definitely can't see everybody. Very excited, guys. You get to finally roll this Nephilim Jet Fighter. He has 10 shots of different, three different weapon types. The first one is the Avenger Bolter. It's five shots, strength six, AP four. I also have strafe and run, so I hit on twos. Four hits, that's pretty good. And wounding on twos. Four wounds. Rob, you got four saves to make. Oh no, here they are. Oh, you went wild on me, you only lost one guy. Not too bad, luck is on my side so far. Let me keep it going real quick, actually. Let me get your dice out of the way, buddy. All right. Um, got the... Uh, Heavy Bolter, it's Twin Links, straight mm -hmm. and run. Hits on twos, looks like all hits. Wounds on threes. Uh, two wounds there. Here you go, Rob. All right. Uh, you're just gonna keep rolling all, this, all, the, all the saves. <laughs> Are you gonna keep shooting me with all those guns? And the last thing is the, the two missiles. Hit it on twos. These are strength seven, these wound on twos. Ugh. Only one armor save for Bearcat. One save coming up. Ha ha. Ugh. So that was uh, you know, another turn two. Did my best to shoot up some guys. Uh, he made some saves, stonewalled me. Killed another five Space Marines. Uh, but now I'm waiting very nervously for his deep strength. Okay, so the cavalry has come home. I got a bunch of my combat squads in, and the idea here is to try to split up and make Kenny split up his little for murder formation here of, <laughs> of his land raiders and get him away from that force shield so I can try to burn him down with some Meltas. So I got in one right here, one up there at the top by his Emperor's Will objective as well as Another objective behind that building. I got the Terminators in it, a nice central location. And another squad over there with some flamers, just kind of chilling in the cut. Gonna try to run them behind that wall and hide, basically, till the rest of the reserves come in, which I got one more squad of, of uh, assault squads and a squad of scouts. All right, so now it's time to get some lucky Melta shots, I feel like. So I'm gonna try to target the uh, Land Raider in the back there that's turned sideways because it's got the banner of devastation. So the first tactical squad is going to roll its melts. And it got two hits. Okay, so here's the first set of armor print rolls for the melt guns that hit. Oh, you suck. Uh, I'm really bad at this. All right, we're going to try it again. All right, well, we're going to try it again with the squad up top there. So two melt guns. All right, here comes some armor print rolls. Looks like you got a pen, dog. Heck yeah. Okay, unfortunately, Kenny gets a power field generator save. Here we go, four up. There it is. Oh, dang. All right, so I managed to get some of the squad in the cover back there to try to hide, spread out the Terminators, and fail to penetrate the uh, the one Land Raider I was trying to hit, which I think it was a good call on the, uh, the one having the banner of devastation there, so. We're gonna take some pain for this turn. All right, guys. Started moving the land raiders around. I'm super fearful of Dante's Terminators. The fact that he has two jump troops in there means he can really slingshot those guys and drag them into combat. So I know I'm gonna get charged by him this turn. So I had a break formation. I'm gonna try to do as much damage as I can this turn. I did sling invisibility onto the land raider. He's good to charge but he did get the Warlord trait to give them all rage. So he kind of like has more attacks than any Thunder Hammer Terminator squad ever had in history. They are super angry. I'm about to plug, start plugging some shots away on these guys and uh, 
Wait, you back here to sing. The Nephilim Jet Fighter, which I love, is about to sneak up on these guys over here. I'm gonna shoot that Avenger Mega Bolter again. Five shots, hitting on twos. And all that. Four hits. Strength six, it's twos to one. It's four wounds, Rob Bear. I got this. <laughs> I hope you don't. Uh, looks like I killed one guy with a pretty good roll by you. Yeah, like I said. Now I'm gonna sneak in the Twin Link Heavy Bolter. Hit on twos, that's three hits. These three wounds. Two wounds for Rob Bear. No big deal. Uh, looks like you got a cock dice in there, buddy. All right. Looks like just one guy dies. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm good at this game. So here's the second uh, volley from the Black Sword Missiles. Three non twos. Uh, come on, guys. What are you not twos? It's like Rob Bear, you got one armor save? No big deal. Oh. Uh, hmm. I thought that was going to be on my undoing, too. Alright guys, this sweet librarian just um, fired his bolters and charged in. Here's the impact hit. Does a wound, Rob. No big deal. Ooh! Uh oh! Oh! I've been so, I have been so flippant. Uh, caught me slipping. Caught you slipping. And I guess um, we're simultaneous. Uh, point you guys in just for you here, buddy. Thanks, man. This dice out of here. So I have um, a four stave. Because I like the way it looks. Uh, that converted in. I have a lot of compelling reasons why I give him four stave instead of a force axe, because he has a powerful generator and gives everyone an invulnerable save anyway. Well, it's definitely a zombie slayer. It's pretty, yeah, it, it, except they get invulnerable too. So basically, I did it because it looks the coolest. <laughs> so he's four attacks, he's weapon skill five. He's got two hits. He has strike six, though. Two wounds, Rob. Oh, man, that's solid. Kill another guy. Ah, uh, whittling the next squad down. This guy does get his swing his attacks back though because this happened mission. Mm-hmm. So let me get some attacks in here. Show enough. So what, what do you what do you have left there? Two guys in Malthus, that's one attack each, and looks like you have an assault ring. Yep. The, the one I just killed that initiative. Okay, so here's my five attacks. I think you might only have four attacks there, buddy. Oh, I get what, two each? Uh, and the, then the melting gun. Uh, melting gun. Uh, melting gun. Got me. Gotcha, dog. You got me. What do you need to hit? Uh, I need force to hit. Or, uh, you know, not force. You got two hits off, off camera. <laughs> <it's> like... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we just got to roll the wound. Need them fours. Oh, I have fives. fives. You're bike. Ooh, you mm, son clutch. Of, you I'm, bastard. I'm making up for it when it counts. All right, man. Let me make. I'm about to make my saves here. I am. Not happy about this. Three up saves. Woo, do a wound to the librarian. Man, I'm a beast. I you do not beast. think I won though. Um, I only won by two, so you're only negative one leadership. Yeah, that's that's no big deal. So let me see what, let me see what I get here. Leadership seven for you. Ooh, you do fail. Yeah, I think any roll with that would yeah, probably an eleven fail. usually fails. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is uh my roll to see uh, if I can run you down. I roll a five plus four, you roll a six. I think that you're gonna... Yeah, looks like I get away to fight maybe another day. Uh, or, you know, shoot you with a melty gun. I was really hoping to hold you in combat there for a turn. No doubt. Well, let's see what happens next turn. All right, so the bottom of turn three, I got in some reserves here. brought some scouts in the back, laying low with the other, ta uh, the other jump squad there. I got the two dudes that broke from combat, both with Meltis, that are going to try to make a play on the Librarian there in between the Land Raiders. Hopefully I can drop that Power Field Generator so that I can assault the lead Land Raider with the Terminators way far yonder. Now they do have Rage uh, because I got the Warlord trait for the Sanguinary Priest, but remember that I also have the Command Benefit because of the Flush Terror's Detachment that gives me rage if I roll over 10 to assault. So it's good to know that I got that close combat potential if uh, some stuff comes out of these land raiders. The scouts have furious charge, so they're actually, there's a lot of still dangerous stuff left in my army. All right, so here's my movement, guys. So what happened was I jumped Dante first out there in front to that lead land raider, jumped up the sanguinary priest behind him, 
And they got a four on difficult terrain for the Terminators, and then they all rejoin the squad. So that way I should be able to still get an assault launched, you know, hopefully I don't roll like less than a four through that difficult terrain there. Now I also, I know I said, I know I said at the top of the turn that I might be jumping over here with the Meltas uh, to get that Librarian, but what I thought about was that there's this Land Raider over here on the left flank, and it's going to start getting away and going after my scoring unit. So I jumped the Meltas over there because he's out of power field generator range just to try to pop him real quick and maybe get lucky there. So uh, I sent the <laughs> the assault squad that was cowering in the ruins up there to deal with the librarian and I also have some scouts in the back with their bolt pistols ready to lend some firepower if it, he doesn't go down to the shooting. All right, so we're gonna roll on the librarian first. Here's two bolt pistols. Got two hits, need fives to wound. Uh, no wounds. Well, maybe the flamer will bring it home here. Just got a wound with this one. And another no wound. Ugh. So now we're going to switch to the scouts back here in the cut. And try to do some damage with them. So we got uh, five bolt pistols and one actually hits better because he's the sergeant. And that's a hit. And a few more hits, just need fives to wound. And looks like I only got one wound. Ugh, one wound left on this guy, one wound to take. He's still kicking. Dang it. All right, so here's the one that really counts. I'm trying to take out this Land Raider with two Meltas. Got two hits. Oh, I need to roll like that again for some armor pen. Here comes the armor pen. Um, I think I killed my guys, but it looks like I also got at least one pen and one glance on the on the Land Raider. All right, so the red dice is for the armor pen. Oh, oh you blew it up. That's a good one. And uh, I guess it really doesn't matter for the whole point then. All right, gonna see if I can make another clutch move here. Dante and his squad's gonna try to charge this Land Raider. So let's see what I get. Well, looks like it's good enough to make it through difficult terrain. All right, and gonna charge the librarian through, try to finish him off before I go to the combat on the Land Raider. So let's see what I get for assault. I think that's good enough. I think it's you always makes it that close. <laughs> if you get to Overwatch, you let me take Aww. these dice right back to it. I need sixes, twin linked. No. I'm okay with that. All right, I didn't get the rage result on my roll, but still have eight attacks on him. That is a lot of hits. Did you get there four hits? Looks like it. So what do you need to wound? Gonna need uh, four up because oh, I'm furious charge. charge. I hate you. Ugh, oh, not so good. How many did you get? Looks like one. Mm, you're, you're, you're my friend, Robert. This is why we're buddies. <laughs> Let me just bang out this real quick. Oh, looks like you got two. Oh, heck yeah. You got two. Bur uh, buried underneath him. Uh, I need to make two, three of saves right now more than I've ever needed to make two, three of saves in my life. Here it is. Mm. That was clutch. I do get to swing first. I mean, swing back before I die. I don't even care anymore. No, nah, you shouldn't care. Two wounds to you, Bearcat. That's all right. Here comes my saves. Oh, yeah. Still stuck in there. Don't even kill a guy. That's, that's really important that he, he chose that order of operations because now my power shell generator is down. For these pimps. Oh yeah, that's a lot of hurt. All right, so here comes the pain that I was talking about. It looks like I've got four attacks each because of the rage, and only four are gonna get in Terminator-wise, four Thunder Hammer. So that's what matters, we're gonna roll it up. Oh, you beast. Oh yeah, now I just gotta roll the pen. Looks like only two hits though, because remember it's invisible. Oh, you did get that off. Well, he's just not invisible. And four of them. And four of them, Bull. That's all right. They're still Thunder Hammers. All right, so Furious Charge, Strength 9 Thunder Hammers coming at you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think that might be dead soon. Ugh. All right, let's see what happens. You destroyed it. Heck, yeah. 
All right, so that was a pretty successful turn for me. Uh, looks like I took out over 700 points of Kenny's army, so the pendulum may have swung in the Blood Angel's favor for this game. Good news, guys. Uh, being pushed back into a corner by Rob. I think we are top of turn four, so man, I'm holding on to my models. I have positioned my Land Raider Crusader to murder these two guys. Should happen pretty easily. Banner of Devastation is still in range of it. Because that guy's still it'll, alive and kicking. My command squad with their four melted guns is going to try to take out these three dudes over here, trying to get back in the kill point race. Um, and I might sling some bolter shots around uh, some green armor. Also, definitely Jeff Fighter had to leave combat airspace because he had nothing left to shoot at due to 90 degree angles shenanigans. All right, so, so I got some green power armor versus some red power armor. Uh, I'm gonna sling some bolter shots, rapid fire, and a bolt pistol. Got some uh, blood angels hunkered down in the building. Oh no. Uh, looking for the old four to wound trick. Looks <laughs> like I got two wounds on you, Robbie B. Not too bad, I got this. We've seen it before. Oh, looks like you have one cocks. Oh, uh, that's all right. Ah, uh, double sixes, you bastard. <sighs> Got four melted gun shots right here, guys. Only two hits. And two wounds. You can't save that. Nope. Uh, also, I was able to vaporize the two melted gun guys with the uh, full might of this land raider. <laughs> all the machine gun noises. After Rob's leadership check, I'm going to try to launch a assault on that remaining guy, if possible. Alright, let me make this leadership check. Looks like I fail. Alright, so after a 10-inch fallback move by the Blood Angels here, it looks like Kenny's going to have a 7-inch assault with his Dark Angels right there. I'm going to try to come in, come in tight. I'm going to try to do something a little interesting, though. I'm going to nominate him as my primary, and now this gives me the ability to do a split combo charge. I would never would have had this ability before. So I need at least a 7. There it is. I think that's more than a 7. All right. So I did a disorderly charge, which means I lose my charge points. These are command squad dudes. They do have two attacks each. So it's kind of like charging. <laughs> so it looks like I have... Two that I have to swing that two that I can swing under the, the assault marine, and looks like I could throw after pilots an extra guy his way. So I'm gonna throw six attacks into that lone assault marine. Not a decent, not a good start. He fours to wound him. Two wounds for old Rob there. And here's my saves. Oh, you're a wily roller. Can't help it. Sometimes you just gotta feel the dice. Well, I didn't feel it that time. All right, so the other two guys in the command squad are going to throw some attacks at those old scouts. Any threes to hit? <sighs> we are failures as a start. It's four to one. We did get a wound down there. That's all right. I think I got this. You do. Oh, yeah. Now the scouts will have their vengeance. All right, here comes my attacks. Hmm. Looks like a handful, two, four, six, seven. All right, it's time to wound. Too bad I don't still have, I don't have Furious Charge because I didn't charge him, but let's see what I can do here. Ah, not too bad. Yeah, let me see if I can't make a couple three-up saves. Oh, so I made him. Oh no. All right, so I gotta make a break check. Looks like I'm good. Cause I was only neg one. Here it is, guys. <laughs> End of my turn four. Was able to kill. I snagged up two kill points. That was good news. Bad news is I'm pretty sure Dante can do a similar slingshot move to get to my land raider. Okay, so it's my turn four. I got my reserves in. They scattered to a right there. So I'm gonna lend their uh, fire support on these uh, uh, Dark Angels right here. Now the other dudes have jumped out from the ruin to try to start getting uh, objectives here in case it ends on five. So they're out there. Then up here, start spreading out to get the Emperor's Will. 
as well as the normal crusade uh, type objective up there. So there are different types of objectives so I can hold them with the same squad. And then over here, I uh, kind of did that little uh, jump trick to try to charge the Land Raider that, uh, that Kenny was talking about there. So hopefully uh, I get a long charge. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be a close one there. We'll see what happens. And the scouts are still stuck in. So lots to do this turn. Still gotta roll a lot of dice to make this happen. So it looks like I need about a seven inch charge to get to the hull itself here. So let's see what I get. Uh, that is not enough. All right, over here, looks like I need <laughs> at least a two, but I'd love a 10 so I get that rage. Not quite what I wanted. All right, so here's my attacks on the two Dark Angels. Oh, uh, that was uh, that was pretty good. Let's see. Oh, this guy. Not too bad. And two wound. One, two, three, four, and plus uh, two more for Furious Charge. So it looks like a total of six. All right, here we go, guys. Six, three up saves. Oh yeah, I'm a beast. Here come my attacks, pimps. Two hits. Here it is, two wounds, sucker. All right, well, here comes two saves. Booyah. All right, I got a leadership check, negative one, but I do have Grim Resolve, so I ignore all the mo negative modifiers. That's good. All right, well, I got 10 attacks with the scouts. They are still trying to get their vengeance. Rob, you're a beast. <laughs> I can't help it, I'm so strong. All them paint muscles. Keep it going, man. I, I don't want any of these dice. None of these dice. <laughs> these dice are dead. Well, actually, that worked out to my favor. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. And to wound. Oh, how do you do that? Good, wow. good or else, scouts. Heck yeah. Three of saves. Looks like I failed um, three of them. Luckily, I feel no pain. Get no pain coming right up. Three five ups. Uh, I made one. Two. I'm a beast. Alright, I still have five guys swinging back on you. Two attacks base. I got ten swinging on these scouts. I do hit on threes though, because your majority weapon skill is lower than mine. Doesn't really help me out all that much. Wounded on fours. Two wounds. Sorry, I got this. And Dante and the Sanguinary Priest die in the process. No! Alright, I need to make a check for the scouts. <laughs> I'm good, and Dante's still alive. Okay, well, we're coming up on turn five. Just finished up four and did some work, but still got a lot more to do. This Land Raider's about to murder something that it looks at. Probably Dante. We'll see how it goes. And the scouts are kind of locked in over here, so. Uh, still a couple objectives up for grabs. We'll see how turn five turns out. So here it is. Top of turn five. The championship turns. Death the Jet Fighter came back from uh, combat airspace. Making some moves. Going to try to kill a kill point this turn if I can get lucky. Maybe hold out. That unstoppable uh, Terminator squad in the middle of the table is still just... You know, implacable as ever. I do have Solace in knowing he can basically never table me because I have a Nephilim Jet Fighter. So I'm gonna try to get a kill point this turn. Nephilim Jet Fighter is gonna unload that Avenger Mega Bolter into these uh, Assault Rings. We need two to hit with Straight from Run. That's a good roll. Not, yeah. not as well as I wanna do with these guys. Like I need two to wound. And that is one wound. I'm okay with that. Rob? <laughs> Fail the save for me. Nah, I'm gonna pass it. Oh, dude, it's... you killed my guys. <laughs> Yo, you lose a guy plus a guy. Oh no, it's Necromunda. Next up, the twin length heavy bolter. Needs twos. It is twin length, but <laughs> uh oh, luckily like I got some wounds through. Hits through. Uh, wounded on threes. 
Not too bad. Rob, that is two armor saves for you, buddy. I got this. All game. Oh, looks like you lose another guy. Uh, wouldn't let me down. And I'm gonna fire off my last two missiles. The Black Sword missiles coming in, needed twos to hit. Man, never get all hits. They're not as good as Ballista Skill 4 at this point. <laughs> so, uh, one hit, needed two to wound. There's one wound for you, Rob. I got this. Too easy. You do. All right, so I got my 10 attacks on Kenny's last man standing. And per usual, I dropped one on the ground. Oh, you keep killing Marine. So that's a lot of hits. Man, that's a good roll, sir. Heck yeah. All right, and here's the two wounds. Rob, you just drunk drop every dice? I've been drinking. What is that? Three wounds. That's mathematically enough to kill a space marine. You would think. Let me just snag these up. All right, if I had a nickel for every time I made three three up saves, hundreds, thousands of dollars. Oh, the anticipation. There it is. Nice. I do have my return attacks. My sergeant over there with two attacks. New. Two hits. One wound there, Rob. Oh my. That's that ain't nothing. Yep, it is nothing. Ha ha. Here it is, guys. This is um, the end of my turn five. Rob still obviously gets his turn, so that's a very powerful position to be in. I was able to kill that assault squad I was picking out with the Nephilim Jeff Fighter. The uh, Land Raider was able to finish it off. Heroically stood my ground in that one combat, and the scouts are still holding him against my uh, command squad, embarrassingly. But let's see what Rob's got. All right, so we're not sure if this is gonna keep going because it's turn five right now. So right now, it looks like I am up six points in objectives, and this is a win-loss game. So what I'm thinking is I'm not gonna try to overextend here. I'm just gonna kind of move up, do my thing. Uh, gonna detach Dante here because he's a beast and he's gonna go Land Raider hunting with his little melta pistol. It's so cute, and uh, and just kind of go from there. If I if I overextend, I might give up some kill points, even though they're not worth that much in this win loss scenario. So I feel like I'm in a really good position here, and we'll kind of see what happens. I'll try to close out the sergeant uh, that's surrounded and pick up this Land Raider, and we'll just go from there. See if it keeps going. All right, so here's Dante hitting on twos. That's a six. Booyah. All right, let's see this pen. Oh, big pen. And here's the armor pen roll. Oh, oh you got me. Man, Meltz is claiming some Land Raiders today. Oh, my goodness. There it is. All right, so here's the assaults. Trying to get up here to these dark angels that are stuck in with my scouts. Looks like uh, six inches, but an eight because of DT. Oh yeah, at least. That is not gonna do it. Oh, oh. Small mirrors. <laughs> okay, so that was a pretty good turn for me. Uh, unfortunately, I did lose the scouts to those veterans there, or that command squad right there. But, I uh, might be able to pick them up here with some uh, hammers in the next turn. Uh, the uh, tactical squad bailed out there, and Dante, I'm sure, will make short work of them. And this guy is still holding strong. So let's see what happens next. So, this could be it. The game could end. And I'm not going to lie, it almost doesn't matter. <laughs> the game goes on another turn. I mean, it's not like I can really do too much damage here. Uh, so basically, this is how much more brutal of a beatdown this giant Terminator squad can do. I, I would like to see it. Uh, well, you don't get to kill every model of my army this uh, time. I wanted to hit you with my hammers. So the game just ended. Obviously I won. Uh, turns out you actually didn't win. I'm, I'm sure it'll go down in, in the history books <laughs> like that. <laughs> Oh man, those Blood Angels were, were just too much for the Dark Angels today. I mean, to be to be honest, I got I got pretty lucky with a couple of those rolls. I mean, yeah, that's why I'm a 40k. You got to roll those dice, see what happens. You know, that Death Star was essentially un untouchable, and it was everything it touched was you know the touch of death essentially. I managed to grind through 30 of your 40 tactical Marines. Nephilim Jet Fighter definitely underperformed. I was hoping to 
So, like, on paper, in my mind, like, I know it's overpointed. I was like, 10 hits, a hit on twos, a wound on twos, basically? Like, that's gonna be good. Nope. Was it good? Well, you have to hit. Yeah. You have to not roll the ones. But it was able to snag up a couple of extra wounds, you know, help with the land raider. I mean, I was able to get some kill points, you know, uh, but I mean, honestly, you're talking game goes on, I get tabled. So it was yes. a decisive victory for the Flesh Terror Strike Force. Now, personally, I really enjoy the 1500 point format. Like, these small, these smaller games, they go quicker. It seems to be more action packed. Like you were still, you were still kind of in there at the end, you know. If, like, it, if this wasn't, if this wasn't win loss, very, very good point. Very good point, man. If it was a battle point tournament, I would have walked away points for yes. sure because I would have been able to contest the Emperor's will, and I would have won kill points. And, and to be quite honest, these army lists, they, there isn't very much like that you can't do. You could just add a couple things in, pop right up to eighteen fifty. Oh yeah, that flesh terror, that flesh terror strike force could definitely play. I like to see that army with sixty assault marines. Maybe throw, um, you know, who knows? But like, <laughs> there will be some lists online for you guys to download. Much beats laboratory action. Oh yeah, I already, I already got a bunch of ideas myself. Veterans, let's bring back hobby together. Make sure to work out your hobby muscles at least once a day.